If you didn't know, the creator of OnlyFans, not an OnlyFans creator, but the creator of OnlyFans. The guy who owns it. The guy who okay. owns the OnlyFans was giving himself a million dollar bonus every day of last year. And it's hard to argue with that when the site had a 16% bump in in, uh, uh, in income and grew its creator base by 47%. It made over a billion yeah. it, it, No, it made uh, $5.6 billion last year. Wow. Uh, okay. Up from $4.8 billion the year before. And this owner of OnlyFans, he got $1.3 million per day in bonuses, adding up to $338 million. <laughs> His I name is Leonid Radvinsky. He's yeah. a 41-year-old Ukrainian-American businessman, pornographer, and computer programmer, founder of the cam site My Free Cams, and the majority owner of content subscription service... OnlyFans. Yes, that's what I think of when I think of OnlyFans. It's like Patreon. Yeah. It's like it's like Patreon or locals. I mean, that's literally what there. it's supposed to be thought of as. Well, that's what it was supposed to be, and they almost did a pivot to safer work content. But Remember, then they realized there's they, more money to be made in exploiting people. They re they reached out to me, so, guys. Never forget that. They reached yeah. out to me and asked me if Brett I wanted to join. That was almost the biggest star yes, on OnlyFans. Because uh, I don't I don't know if they, because they, they, they reached out to me on Instagram, but uh, I don't know if it's because I had a Patreon back then. So they're just like, this translates. Yeah. Psych. I was like, yeah, just no. Just, just now, <laughs> like uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, I they mean, have a hundred. You can make a safe for work platform, but you can't make it not safe for work and then go back. Yeah, there's exactly. no way to go back. A uh, hundred and eighty-eight million users on the platform. Think about what like Netflix has at two hundred and fifty-six million. How many creators are there? Uh, I know it's similar. It's under two million, right? It's higher than that now, I think. Um, but it's like they because they they bumped by forty-seven percent, so it's probably over three or four million now. Right. Um, and the number of people actually subscribing to creators is up twenty-seven percent. So if we're talking pure capitalism, the guy earned his bonuses. Yeah, sure. If we're talking pure capitalism, that's what that's the, what we're talking. I think about. the increase can be attributed to more companies getting involved in in using OnlyFans as a revenue stream, not as more individual yeah. people making accounts on there. I think it's more companies that make fake accounts, more AI being used, yeah. more um, management like talent management companies that have. Like dude, like precarity worker dudes who are in like Bangladesh or India messaging dudes like horny messages <sighs> under the guise of a model. I mean, I think um, Brittany Martinez of EV Magazine, she, she just tweeted about this and said like there are girls that are in the modeling industry. They are offered to get like flown out to possibly Dubai, possibly some other exotic Abita. location. They take a bikini photo shoot, like a very vanilla bikini photo shoot that you would probably do for Sports Illustrated or even a retail website, okay? And then they aren't told what it's actually for. It's for companies that run OnlyFans accounts that pretend to be that these individual women, but under a certain moniker. And they have a bunch of men messaging the subscribers pretending to be that woman messaging the subscribers to get more money it's crazy dude and and i guess like that just shows <laughs> if you're subscribing to only fans accounts you don't know who you're messaging and you might possibly be gay <laughs> so uh, that's yeah. just f some food for thought there and plus, if you like, weren't if convinced woman, already if the woman wanted to have the photos <laughs> taken down just the the amount of bureaucratic red she tape she can't do it because she signed whatever contracts that's you have fair use of all of these images but of not me just that like it's without like, disclosing what it's actually for it's not even just that it's like who are you going to get a hold of on the phone? It's like when you want yeah. to cancel your Amazon account. Uh, it's like there's nothing harder in the world than canceling that Amazon Prime account. And it's not like um, OnlyFans customer service has any incentive to protect your image. It yeah. makes them more money that these women are getting lied to. And remember, OnlyFans takes 20% yeah. of every transaction. So this is what Brittany Martina said. A couple months back, I asked to be a part, or I was asked to be a part of an influencer agency that a lot of agency signed models are on. 
They paid to fly you to exotic locations and shoot with top photographers with the opportunity to make a lot of money. But the catch, you're on OnlyFans. So what they do is get these models, shoot gorgeous bikini shots of them, stick them on OnlyFans where your account is actually run by a man who communicates on your behalf while the model is making commissions off her photos without ever having to go on the website. I was shocked, but just so you know, if you think you're talking to some bikini model on OnlyFans, it's probably a dude. In a lot of cities, it says in your contract, you can't sign with an agency if you have an OF. But this agency was partnered with a famous modeling agency, so I guess they were able to get around it. So it's like, you can't personally run an OnlyFans account, but if you hire a company to run one for you, so you can just get around it. So modeling agencies again. Yeah, and it's kind of a, you know, public secret that a lot of the modeling industry is already rife with trafficking issues to begin with um so there's that blow to your morale today um <laughs> and uh also just just so you know i just want people to like if you were wondering what the most successful yeah pimp in the world looks like this is him uh, what do you think of the physiognomy can we get a physiognomy check on this guy <laughs> What do you it's, think? It's, uh, you know... Is he a trustworthy... Does he have a trustworthy face, in your opinion? He looks like he's laughing all the way to the bank. That's what it looks like. <laughs> you know, a lot of... A lot of... A lot has been done in the name of, of uh, computer nerds in high school who were bullied and then became successful, you know? Uh, do you think that that's him? I don't know if that's if that's this guy. This guy looks like he had, like... He uh, just looks so ordinary. Yeah, so I'm saying. Like this, like, this dude on the dating apps does not get the play that he would want right because he just looks so normal and that's how he ended up here i also i just sent you the clip to um another uh whatever podcast that lila rose was on and they're talking about the ethics of like having an only fans account and who your customer base is like do never you actually know who yeah. they are yeah here we go let my kids have but your iphone but you're creating stuff like that. pornography that's up to What's the parent the parent Shouldn't be giving the kids iPads. Do you think flavor. it's fair to demand the standard of parents when we're creating this very pornified society with tons I, of porn I everywhere? Think to parents, demand that parents can somehow magically insulate their children from the extreme pornification the that's old, accelerating in our society. The only the responsibility involved, parents have is to protect their children. But should we as so a why society are, help parents? Children can't healthier? get a, Should we take responsibility yes. to help families and parents at large do better for their kids by not adding to the toxicity but can out I, there that is you, my target. fans aren't kids have people. you seen their ids i know who they are unhappy married men do you think it's healthy for those men to be do in not, that situation cheating no, on life unhappy I, I don't then why they should not have entered into that commitment in the first place why would you commit to a man or a woman if you weren't fully committed i agree with that but i think we each have a personal responsibility to do good if it's hurting kids if it's hurting couples that are on the rocks if it's hurting addicts if it's hurting these different people why would we continue it, to be a part of it it's them choosing are every single helping, person can choose are we helping or hurting those people that have choices? they're gonna do it no matter what it sounds like what a drug dealer could say they're gonna do drugs no matter what yes. am i putting something out there in the world that you think is so harmful why would you keep putting it out i, I wouldn't okay. i think lila rose was making some really strong points there and i think that lady has the most nails on a chalkboard voice the, I've heard in a while. There's a $20 one. That was one. A really rough to listen to. Um, this one's from Cody Boudreau. I'm there's not going to There's one above that. It. Did we not read the one above that? Oh, Gordon yep. Shumway yep. said Eminem doesn't even realize that this whole ordeal with Vivek will end up being the Streisand effect for his music. Only this time it will be Republicans looking up his music, making him relevant again. Pretty ironic. It'll be funny. Like, it's just a bunch of Republicans bumping Eminem songs. He's like, <laughs> no, not that way. Don't do that. The wrong um, people like his music. Look, uh, I I don't know. My my instinct is to say that uh, outside of like stronger protections for the kids, like keeping kids off the well, site. Well, she's like, it's sure. not kids. It, yeah. It's unhappy married yeah. men that watch me, so I'm not in the wrong. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I mean, how about both parties? Well, share, take some share of the right. responsibility for both of them. She can't control who looks up her content. If unhappily married men do that, then that's the dude's fault for having no self-control and not being able to keep himself from, from doing what he's doing. I just think that that can go way too yeah. far ethically.
that justification can go way too far. Uh, I mean, uh, if, if we're talking children, then yeah, but I, I don't know how they go. I mean, they've been doing, this has been a, a question for the ages, right? It's like, how do they protect kids? Like, like back before the internet was as easily accessible as it is right now, and parents had to worry about their kids going onto websites that said, you must be 18 to, to go on this website. Uh, and that's on the parents to better monitor their kids' internet access and, uh, and use. But this lady, like as much as I don't agree with her or don't don't necessarily like her, uh, I don't think that's her job to keep married men from stepping out. That's just me. Um, no, I mean, I don't think that that's her responsibility, but it's her responsibility not to contribute to those societal problems, which she is doing. All that damn liberalism, ruining it for everybody, right? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. Um, um, also, there was this story that you told me about uh, about this porn star, Riley Reed. Um, apparently, her and another uh, performer friend of hers said that they invited a fan up to their hotel room to film a scene together. And this was seemingly contradictory to something she said in the past, which is that now that she's married and has a kid, she's not going to do scenes with men anymore. Yeah, it says Riley, who is a mother and is married, was soon bombarded by trolls, trolls. who expressed their disdain for her and, uh, and the other performers supposedly sleeping with a stranger. First of all, one of the that biggest things what it was about, that anyway. the, the internet does is they label everyone who disagrees with you trolls. Yes. People who come in here and don't like what you or I say are not inherently trolls. Not, I mean, what makes somebody a troll yeah. is that they're insincerely commenting, yeah. right? So these are what some of them... But they're sincerely offering criticism. That's not trolling. One person wrote, husband must be proud. Another said, I don't understand how her husband agrees with this. Hell nah. <sighs> Another said, girl, you have a kid. It's sort of like what Kiki Palmer was getting. Yep. When she was getting friendly with Usher. It's like, you're a mom. Yep. Maybe you shouldn't act like this anymore. Yep. Uh and one person clapped back, you need to worry about yourselves instead of a random porn star's child. It's weird. Well, he, uh, not, not just that, but like... You know, it's, it's also weird to be a porn star and have a child, yeah. though. To, like, to me, this is one of those things where it's like, I'm just not the person who's ever going to comment on a random person's social media post. Okay, you know, but, like, but I mean, this isn't like some random nobody that everyone just d decided to gang up on. But like, I'm not going to. I'm saying I'm not going to do it to anyone, even even famous people. But I get the I get the. She impulse. wants the pushback. Yeah. Well, it's good for her. She brand. wants the attention. It's good for the brand. It's good for everything to do that, right? But yeah, what? Why do porn stars get married so much? They a lot of them get married. Like, why do they do that? Because um, it doesn't tend to work out. It tends to put so many unnecessary stressors on on a relationship that it would you know, be if you, really interesting. If you just retired and lived yeah. off the um, insane amounts of money that you made off of this unethical lifestyle, you would be fine. I mean, he has to still deal with your past, and he has to deal with the fact that everything on the internet is permanent. But at least you're not still continuously doing this. Who was the porn star that married the pastor? I got to. I, I forget. Is that a thing? That was a. That was a thing. That sounds was, like. I don't know, some kind of messed up sitcom. No, there was, uh, I don't remember her name, but she, yeah, she married a, a pastor. Uh, One who was currently a pastor. Yes. And she was currently uh, still says, a porn star. Uh, this is not, who I was, yeah, a pastor marries a porn star, his wife's response to saving herself uh, for marriage is totally beautiful. This isn't the the what I was thinking of. I think there must be more than one story. Or this no way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I just don't get it. Yeah. Or maybe um, it was maybe it was a minister. That, those you know, are different also things, the, right? Also, the the Logan Paul and Dylan Danis situation is heating up more. Yeah. Um, Dylan Danis posted a very X-rated video of Nina Agdal um, talking about some very explicit graphic things. Yeah. Um, but he's still holding it over Logan's head that he has this life ruining, illegal, crazy photo that would just it would call off the fight and get him put in jail. I I'm, not, it, I'm not sure if I believe him. I guess it is this one. It's this is from the Christian Broadcasting Network. Okay. Uh, with God, all things are possible. Ex porn star minister encourages single singles to live in purity and date God's way. Brittany Della Mora was in the porn industry for seven years back then. She never imagined she would one day find God and marry a pastor. Brittany and Richard Della Mora were married today. Uh, they pastor. It's literally called Triple X Church. What? 
is this? No. This is on the Christian. Bro We've used this, this website like, for this articles. This has got to be satire. It's not. It is not. Okay, whatever. Uh, empowering sexual integrity through mental well-being is is on this is for okay, this website. I think it's a, it's about conquering pornography. This makes more addiction. sense because she's an ex. Yeah. Corn star. Yeah. The the whole, if she were currently in the middle of doing that, then it wouldn't make any sense. The which is why I'm saying like was about conquering porn addiction. Okay, it's just the ministry. Yeah. Okay, but like that that's what doesn't make sense to me about the current porn stars that are getting married these days like yeah. what does marriage even mean to you in that situation mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it mean to either person somebody in the chat mentioned that uh asia carrera is porn star been married to the same guy for 30 years so uh, obviously there's gonna be exceptions in, gotta be in some kind of business relationship or friendship more so than um than a real marriage thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys